Welcome to Pario Magazine, where I chat with individuals who have a desire to create. Today, I'm joined by a rising young star of Australian swimming. Welcome to Pario Magazine, Oliver Lindy. Thanks for having me. So we're here today to chat about your journey as a competitive swimmer. Before we dive into that, though, you want to introduce yourself and give our audience a little bit of a brief rundown on who Oliver is away from the pool? Yeah, all right. Um, my name's Oliver. I'm 15 years old from the Southern Highlands, just outside of Sydney. I've uh, been swimming racing competitively since December last year. And yeah, that's it. Okay. And so you've been competitive since December last year. When did you sort of first begin to get into swimming and sort of look at it as something a bit more than just mucking around on the weekend? Yeah, well, I've sort of been swimming forever, like just doing like squads, like all the way up until I suppose year seven, where I sort of took a break and then I found Cam. And then Cam sort of got me in, like more and more into the competitive side, really, that, that I was starting to realise that there was something outside of just swimming squads. There was a whole world of competition. Okay. And what was it about the competition that sort of fostered that passion in you and wanted you to go a little bit harder yeah. on the training side of things? Yeah, well, I'm not sure really. It's a good question. It's the, the competitive side of it, being able to race people, going fast, always trying to be the best. It's really, it's a good feeling when you like, when you get your hand on the wall first, see your name so first on the scoreboard. Yeah, it's good. It's a good feeling. So I would say that probably caused me to want to train harder, just setting new goals for myself in terms of making qualifying times or hitting PBs, stuff like that. Did you find you were sort of naturally gifted or has it been something that you have had to work on for quite a long time yeah well obviously I, I had something like i wasn't just the average swimmer but i mean without training or something i wouldn't be anywhere near as good as i am now okay and then in terms of swimming there's a bunch of different disciplines do you have a personal favorite stroke yeah free, freestyle freestyle backstroke i would say okay and then who have been your biggest inspirations in pursuing this dream? I would definitely say Cam, my coach. Definitely number one inspiration. Like him telling me all the stories and all the things that he's done through swimming when he was my age, winning medals, all, all sorts of things, making teams. So I, I would definitely say I look up to Cam a lot. Has that been something that has really helped you push through and continue to train hard knowing that someone like Cameron has been able to achieve great things at, an, at a young age like yourself? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, the thought of doing things like what Cam did is definitely a big motivator. Okay. And then what would you say has been your biggest achievement in the sport so far? It's tough. I mean, winning, winning state medals and country New South Wales medals, like, it's good, but it's, it's not like, it's not really the top. I would probably say, I'm not sure, maybe meddling at school nationals, I would okay. say is the biggest thing I've done so far. Is it one of those things where like each time it feels a little bit bigger, but you still have those bigger goals to achieve, so you don't feel fully fulfilled quite yet? Yeah, definitely. And you recently qualified for the Australian Open Swimming Championships at, like we said, just 15 years old. How did that feel to achieve that goal um well i mean when i when i got the qualifying time when I, when I was swimming the race my goal wasn't really to to qualify for that so when i saw i got the time i was pretty stoked it was a pretty good feeling being able to experience um and race against some of the best swimmers in the country so it was good okay so you were just sort of swimming that as just like a that's the next step in the the progression and it wasn't I expect to get to the end of it that quickly. Yeah, definitely, definitely didn't have national qualifying time in, in my mind when I was swimming or before. Yeah. And having now got that goal, has that sort of spurred you on to train a little bit harder as well? Yeah, I would definitely say so. How difficult is it training in the Southern Highlands given the, the cold weather there at times during that during the year? Yeah, it's, it's very difficult getting out of bed. Everything's really cold. Outside pool. 
yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. But, I mean, if you want to achieve the goals you set out for yourself, you have to, it has to be done, right? Mm-hmm. And I guess now that you are achieving some of those goals, that does make the, the training a little bit easier each time to get up. Definitely, yeah. And over the years, I'm sure you've had a few sort of setbacks along the way. What would you say has been the biggest challenge that you've had to overcome? Um, I would say just after school nationals, I took about a four-week break. It was finding it really hard to get back in the pool. Uh, yeah, I would definitely say that. Just getting the mo- finding the motivation again to get back in the pool and start training hard. Okay. And like we said, you're currently training under Cameron Reynolds, who has previously done an interview for Pario. How did you find Cameron and how did you then join forces with him? Yeah, well, I think my mum found him on Facebook through, I think it was a tri- local triathlon club and found mm-hmm. that he was a swim coach. So I think she messaged him. We went and met him at the Mittagong pool to sort of get to know him, get to see what he was all about. And then sort of went from there, started doing training sessions at Barrel. Uh, and then our relationship slowly built up. He slowly started to build up the CR Swim um, brand. And yeah, it sort of just went from there. Were you sort of interest, instantly connected and wanting to train under him or did it take a little, a couple of sessions before you were like, okay, yes, this is the guy that I need to be with? Yeah, I would definitely say it was, it was sort of instant. I, I remember the, fir- the first time I met him, he gave me some tips and my swimming just felt instantly better. Okay. So would, they, would those tips be the thing that you think would be the biggest assist that Cameron has given you or has it been a few other things along the way as well. Yeah, well, I mean, just uh, helping me get back in the pool, helping me re-motivate, find new goals, new things to strive for definitely would be another thing that he's helped me with. And I guess, like we said, having that prior knowledge of what he's achieved makes it a little bit more attainable as well. Yeah, definitely. (laughs) So in terms of swimming, what would be your ultimate goal? Are you looking to sort of go to the Commonwealth Games or the Olympics? Yeah, I definitely think of making an Australian team, whether it be a junior or a senior one, would be my end goal in swimming. Okay, brilliant. Whether it be for six Commonwealth Games. And then finally, where is the best place for people to support you and track this journey moving forward? If you're a swimmer, you could definitely check out me mobile. It has like times and stuff of swimmers. Um... Okay. Well, I'll, I'll link to the the Instagram page and then I'm assuming the links and everything for the times and everything are on there as well. Yep. Alrighty. Perfect. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me and good luck with the swimming career and hopefully we'll see you representing our country at some point down the line. Thank you very much.